Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is President Nikki. President Nikki on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, patreon.com slash President Nikki, presidentnikki.com and here on this channel. It's been a minute. It has been a minute, my friends. Um, but I'm back ish. I can't I can't tell you for how long it will be back, but I'm back right now. Um, today we're going to be talking about Coco Rocha Modeling Camp while I bedazzle this because I am so behind on this project, but I have a shoot coming up very soon that I do want to use this for. So we're going to chit chat, we're going to vibe, we're going to open some new gems, which I'm excited for, and we're going to chat. So day one, Coco Rocha Modeling Camp. I fly in, Sultana and I. Sultana, one of my deepest darling friends. She is such a good role model. She is such a slave person. Never says anything bad about anyone. I don't know how she does it. I cannot say the same for myself, unfortunately. Um, these have a weird back to it that makes it really ugly. Because if there's something to be said, I'm gonna say it, you know? Why are these all cloudy? These are not what I want. They have like a mirror on the back of it. Hmm, that's so odd, no? Hmm, I don't know if I like these rhinestones. They're not rhinestoning the same way. Hmm. I don't want to open the other ones though. Are these rhinestoning more? Kind of. These are tiny. Mm, that's annoying. Um, I guess I'm opening this other bag. It's 570. Oh, I'm never gonna be able to get through this. Um, so I and I arrive. We check in. We get all of our paperwork done. They have menus for us that we get to choose food. That was super slay. Um, and then we had like a quick Q and A and then we got to talk to Coco for a little bit, which was super cool. This was actually the most time we spent with her was like in this small group. Uh, there was like three or four of us in it. And it was really nice to talk to her and like discuss what we want and what we're trying to get out of this camp. This is a perfect match, so I'm glad these are it. Um, glass flat back rhinestones. Heard. Are they all the same size? Uh, I can't tell. I think so. Okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna start from the top, I guess. Just like go around. Anyways. It was really good. And then we, I'm gonna get it started and then we can chat. I never know how these things work. Let's see. Um, okay. It doesn't tell me how to open. How do I open you? How do I open now? Is it like one of those you just cut? Ooh, one second. Really don't want to cut it, but it is what it is. I did it. Don't know if I did it right. I did it. Then we played True Truths and a Lie, and also the theme of the night was, oh, semi-formal. So I just went down in a little romper, and then we had dinner, which was really, really good. And then the next day was Pose and Runway class. I loved po Pose class. It was basically dance class, which, as you know, I love as a dancer. It's super fun for me. We learn like 
that you really it's more of it's not a stop and pose it's more of a move so like I would always like stop for the camera to catch up with me she's like you don't have to do that the camera is fast enough already and I was like oh I did not know that um I thought I would have to stop all the time um but I do think it's like based on a variety of things so there's that too and then she made us show our emotions on our faces and see how our like face reacts to certain prompts um and she was like you really need to know the backstory of the product and the brand you're selling because you know you're the face of that company now so that was good i don't know if those gems are the same size not my problem um whose problem it is i do not know learning that i don't need to use as much glue as i thought which is nice i thought i would have to use way more glue than i needed to so slay great and then i can put the cap on here and so we started yes posing we posed we posed. She was really good at like for content creators, like telling us when to po when to stop the recording and when to start the recording. That was really helpful to me, so I didn't have hours upon hours of footage that I cannot use. So that's good. Oh, my gems are sliding. I did not take that into into account. Hmm, sliding gems. Don't do that. Maybe if I return her, it won't slide as much. Oh, I don't like touching this glue with my fingers. Gross. Yucky. Oh, and now my finger's also in it on this side. Slay. Um, and then we took a quick break for lunch. And we had sandwiches yeah we had sandwiches for lunch and then we were time for runway class Coco has a really interesting um form when it comes to how to walk um she like really has our backs arched all the way so if you see me walking funny it's on purpose she actually said to me that like I had a very good walk before we like did it like we did a first round and she like watched us all and she said she really liked my walk um and to not change a thing which was slay she said the only thing you need to work on is like grab like getting into it because i tend to like pose and then go she's like just walk into it walk into it and adjust how you need to and i'm like okay heard she's like you take directions very well and that's you know the people pleaser in me was like yeah i take directions well you know you know so that was good. I don't know how this is coming out, but it's like, whatever. They're gems. They look so gemmy. And then, so runway class was fun. I learned how to do it. Do not exist. They stopped making those shoes. Super sad. Um, Cause walking in heels is so hard. And it's especially hard when your heels are not good so invest in some good shoes if that's like if you were wondering how to benefit from this video look at my hair i'm trying to grow it out it's, it's like semi-working it looked really good from here from this angle it's like constantly dry at the edges for no reason because I, I, I put a hair mask on it almost every day how much moisture can you absorb like let's be for real um but yeah anyways friend of class was really good i got a lot of good videos and then we then we what night was that oh it was taco night i did not really like taco night but i'm also just a picky eater so can't really complain on that part um then we had we woke up the next morning and it was shoot day so you only get two photos so you better make sure to every photo you take look gorgeous because you only get two of them um and they pick so you know if you're really picky like me you kind of just gotta accept it you know ah my gems are falling my gems are falling 
stay. I don't think these gems are gonna stay that well. I think I need to put more glue on them. It looks really cute though. It looks a little crusty dusty up there, but it is what it is. Crusty dusty. So you get downstairs, you're split into groups, group one and group two. I was group one, thank gosh. Um, because I don't think I would have done good in group two, just because you wake up in the morning and you shoot first. Um, I'd much rather shoot first thing in the morning than late in the afternoon because then my nerves are all day and I don't like nerves all day. Who likes nerves all day? So I was very glad that I was group one. So they got us into hair first and then to makeup. The teams were super nice, which was great like wasn't worried about them judging me and all the girls were so supportive uh you can't really ask for a better group of girls than the girls i was with so that was slay i have a really slow social battery especially when it comes to events and talking where i can only be on for like maybe an hour or two and then i'm like done but we were there for like eight hours so like by the end of each day i was exhausted so tired so tired and like I felt so bad I was like not talking at dinner but I was like I literally can't like I cannot and what was also great they also had dessert almost every night and I love a dessert you know and on like the second night there was cheesecake for dessert you know how much I love cheesecake also they did do a lot of like talk about eating disorders and like that was really nice um I like recently like had a small blip of it so it was nice to hear again like that you need to nourish your body in order to do the things you love which i think is a very important message um so yeah and so i did hair and makeup the first outfit i did was well i only did one outfit they said you could do two but like for my headshot i just it wasn't didn't really matter um they just cropped what i was wearing so it looks like two different shoots which is slay um and then we got into shooting you did i did like four minutes alone and then i did three minutes with coco and she kind of guided me in posing and faces which was really good um that was a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with her uh and then she like held the leaf blower and my hair was going crazy and the photographer was so nice she said she just wants to put me in her pocket which is something i never hear <laughs> because like you know, I'm a curvy girl, I'm a little bigger, like no one's putting me in their pocket, you know? Um, so yeah, and then Coco was like, be a little more loose with it, which is really hard for me, but I loosened up a little bit. Uh, and I really had to like not care about what my curves looked like, cause I knew like she didn't want that. She didn't want to see like a picture perfect, like Nikki and she didn't want happy and she didn't want sexy, which is like my two main poses. So I was like, all right, time to give something else. And when I try to give something else, it usually gives like that face, which I don't love. Um, but I don't really know how to make a lot of like calm faces, um, just like resting faces, like it doesn't really look good. So I tried. If you want to see those pictures they are up on my instagram i'm still glad i took them oh my gosh this one's falling obviously i'm still glad i took them um the uh, big picture the full body picture is definitely not the one i would have chosen for myself but i know that's part of the progress like it's part of the process that you have to see yourself in a beauty that someone else chooses because most of us like choose our own photos um so that was a good like practice to kind of like be less picky and see what others see in you and not just yourself so that was good learned that and then we went to social media class where they discussed everything about socials and like how to post and talk about agencies and which super crazy they were like you should be talking to your agent all the time having open conversations with them chit chatting and they were all talking about like how much they love their agents and then um so i emailed my agent i was like hey like do you think there's anything i'm missing from my book like 
I want to get booked more, anything I should add to my portfolio. And she actually was like, actually, you're officially dropped from Dorothy Combs Models. So I went, okay, thank you. So I am now agency list. Um, I have no agency. I'm by myself again, which kind of sucks. But what was helpful is that I got all these new tips from Coco and I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna make sure that I am the best model I can be because that's all we can really do at the end of the day is be the best version of ourselves. I realize I like how I did it on this one way more than I like it on this side. Mm. Whoops. Oof. Whatever. It's a work in progress. Still doing it, so don't worry. But yeah, that's my Coco Rocher Model Camp experience. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. There's also recap videos on my TikTok and on my Instagram. Bye.